Hi there again. Well, um, I've had a few inquiries of people asking me where uh, do I get cheap CDs from? Well, um, I buy CDs off eBay that are used uh, sometimes. If there's a particular one I want, but otherwise um, I sort of go and haunt charity shops. Um, now, with charity shops, uh, some you go in and they want ridiculous prices for CDs. So they want two ninety nine, three ninety nine, etc. Uh, we all realise that they're a charity shop and that they're trying to raise money for good causes. That's all, all great. That is, but there is also this other element where the shopper is not just coming in to donate um, items that they no longer want. Um, or money as they may, may wish to do so without purchasing anything but people are actually looking for bargains and uh, that's something that tends to get forgotten or maybe they're on restricted budget if they're looking for furniture or whichever um, that they can't pay the full price for uh, me well I concentrate mainly on CDs sometimes I buy um, vinyl LPs but of course in recent years because this sort of mania about vinyl 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 it's all great it's all marvelous a lot of it is still rubbish and it's scratchy old James last LPs etc etc the only time that I purchase anything even if it has got some scratches on if it's a sleeve that I want so the LP is of no consequence I can just chuck that away and I may use the uh, sleeve to put in a frame because it'll look decent in a frame up displayed um, dependent on what it is and what your taste is and so on and so forth makes nice decoration anyway and I picked up a few like that but at the moment they're still being silly prices because unfortunately people who value the LPs in charity shops think what what was once rubbish is now going to be an absolute gold mine well it doesn't quite work like that so I concentrate on the CDs now um, charity shops in various parts of the country vary in the prices that they charge some charge like 299 399 for a single cd yes they really do uh, other places uh, tend to charge a pound each um, or if you're lucky you can find places that charge uh, three for a pound i've even come across charity shops that um, that will sell you uh, them for 50 pence each or you can even have five for a pound which is a pretty good deal really uh, but you still have to be particular uh, you, you will find a lot of charity shops as well the same old CDs again and again and again uh, Robbie Williams is a case in point no disrespect to the artist but you see a lot of his stuff and you see a lot of uh, take that in there and uh, and compilations some compilations are good some compilations well not to my taste so i ignore them um when i go in to a charity shop um i usually search when they are upright like that when they're vertical because it's easier for me to take say five out put them on one side and then flick through otherwise if they're all tight together it becomes a pain having to get them out individually another thing that uh, rings alarm bells with me is if i go in and all the cds have got sellotape on the edges well some charity shops say well they do that so that people don't pinch the cds that are inside uh, other places uh, tend to do that because they don't want you to see the condition of the CD and there's nothing more annoying than getting home and getting a scratchy CD some of them you can you can uh, revive though I'll come to that in another another video but if I see sellotape on them I don't I don't even pull them out I think waste their time because if you go up to the counter and say can I take the sellotape off they'll say no 
uh, and, until you've purchased it so that's a waste of time um, I tend to go to charity shops um, larger charity shops where they've they've had more CDs come in so there's more of a choice um, generally in provincial little towns if it's in a little village then CDs are generally not viable to buy because there's not much of a choice and it's they're just too expense expensive uh, I have had friends of mine that buy lots of CDs from charity shops and they get to know the manager of the shop and uh, because they buy a lot uh, the manager on some charity shops no all of them will say oh i'll put some by and you can have a flick through if you're going to now these aren't people that are dealers these are just people that collect lots of cds like myself probably a lot more than me um so it depends what kind of a relationship you have with your uh with your charity shop thrift store call it what you want um but uh another place that's good for picking up CDs is Marketplace. Marketplace on Facebook. Uh, at the moment, we go through a, a phase of a lot of people are getting rid of their CDs and they're just they're just streaming their music off um, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, etc., etc. So they think, oh, we'll just get rid of them, and they do. And you look on, you look on. Um, uh, marketplace and you can you can pick up some pretty good deals oh that's my that's my pussycat in the back there Ruby Tuesday um, and you know why she would be called that don't you um, so sometimes you, you can pick up 50 100 CDs cheaper than you could actually in a charity shop so it's worth looking out uh, in fact yesterday but no not yesterday a few days ago I picked up um, quite a pile but um, the, the, there is there is a bit of a knack with them because sometimes you can have people um, dump in CDs that have been given away with newspapers and really that's no point uh, there's no no point to even having them anyway although the music may be good but I don't think it's a good deal anyway uh, the other thing to watch out for is cracked cases cracked cases you can uh, you can replace those quite reasonably in fact there are some uh, companies on eBay that sell big boxes big boxes of um, used CD cases you will get some that the, the scrap a bit scratchy or maybe a crack here or there but by and large it's a very cheap way of replacing a damaged case or a series of cases um, much more so than buying new CD cases I know a lot of people say I don't like plastic I don't you like to use plastic CD cases only cardboard sustainable blah 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 but you know you've got to replace like with like or make an arrangement where you put them in pvc um, cases or folders etc and i don't think that's very satisfactory certainly not for me anyway so there's uh the answers i hope to a couple of the questions that have been asked in the past and uh, i'm sure it differs from country to country okay thanks for watching this please click a like if you've enjoyed it in the in the box or even subscribe and then you can see lots more of these videos okay thank you bye